What's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, so, not gonna lie, today kicked my ass. Still not really done for today, but um, I'm losing daylight and I figured right now would be the perfect time to update you guys uh, with a new video, a vlog on my build. So, uh, let me show you basically what I've done today. Um, I mounted four brackets. Rear spring hanger brackets kicked my ass, um, but uh, and cleaned up the frame and uh, painted it and uh, painted the brackets. But here, let me let me show you guys real quick. Woo! All that glory. So this bracket, the front brackets went on pretty good. Um, you will have to chase the holes out a little bit. Um, I had to use a unit bit, um, but. Um, yeah you have to open up the holes a little bit to get everything to fit because everything is so precise and every frame is different so you know when when these guys uh, whether it be desolate or you know any of these companies when they make these they're off a jig and that jig is off their one bronco well all these broncos or f-150s or whatever you're building nothing's the same so don't get all excited when you think this shit's just gonna bolt right on if you do you're a moron um but uh, anyhow, so got those on, got those on. Um, these two assholes right here, and I'm gonna tell you right now, these took me between the two brackets probably about three hours um, because I chose not to raise my tank or move it. Yes, it's dented. Uh, I didn't do that, but. Um, um, unless you're willing to dislocate your pinky and like get your fingers up in behind the frame rail, um, yeah, you're gonna, it's a bitch. It's a real bitch. So this side really sucked. So there's a hole right up in there. This one, this side actually has a wire loom going through it for the tail lights and all that shit. But, um. You can kind of see the head of the thing right there, but um, yeah. Oh, and I had to take the bumper off because these rear brackets come in contact with, I think you can see them right there, with the uh, rear bumper bolts. So you're gonna have to take those off. You have to take the bumper off so you can get these rear brackets on. Um, let's move around to this side. So you guys kind of see this side, but here's my, kind of got this one going right now. It's almost there. Um, you can kind of see where my exhaust runs, but um, here's my problem is, so the upper shock tower mount goes right where that heat shield is. You're gonna have to take that heat shield off because it uses, it, it uses these bolts and then slides up through right here and a bar goes across with the tabs. Well, the tabs happen to be right above my muffler, my nice new exhaust. So, a little bit of a problem. I'm gonna have to redo the exhaust, do something with it somehow. So, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, same issue on this side, getting these two, uh, uh, yeah, these two assholes in there. Um, I used uh, a pry bar and on the other side, and kind of slid my fingers up into this crack and used a piece of ma magnet with the um with the nut and the washer attached to it and got it on there um mainly because i didn't want to move the gas tank so yeah that's what i've done so far it's been a nightmare but um yeah and now here's the sh here's the the shock mount right here so you can kind of see where it's at this mounts to that plate on the outside there's where the tabs go muffler is going to be sitting right there so there's my springs i'm hoping to get those bad boys on there um but um yeah uh, as far as tools guys go go guys um you know i've just been using um you know an impact um uh, once you put on the new hardware you're back to 
using um, the Imperial system instead of the metric bullshit. So all the factory stuff on your Bronco is going to be all metric, uh, 18s, 21s. Um, think there's a couple 15s. Um, and then once you get all that crap off, you're going to be jumping over to your standard tools, three quarters, um, and uh, other stuff. Um, but uh, oh, what I wanted to tell you guys is so when you guys do this front bracket, um, it's going to be the same process. So you kind of see this this mount right here. You I had to like pry it over and then clamp it and then drill these bottom holes out right here. Um, to mount this one so um, expect to do that oh the rear you're not getting the bolts in um, on the bottom and let me show you why and it'd be a headache too so crawl up under here so these bolts if you drill those doesn't matter if you put them in the far back or the far front when you put the bolt through it hits the other bolt so I don't know if that's a screw up or what, but I think I'm just going to tack weld those in there. So I'll probably just put like a little, a little tack right here and a, and a tack on the back um, and not use the bolts. Kind of didn't want to do that in case I ever have to pull the bracket off, but as long as you make the weld into a point where you can just cut it, I think you'll be fine. So yeah. So that's that. Hopefully you guys are liking my hair. It's all natural. Don't get jealous. But uh, yeah. What's up everyone? I'm gonna hold the camera up here this time. Today is either four or five. Um, finally started making a, a vlog after the heat wave. It is ridiculously hot today. About 100 degrees out here in East County. But uh, so I got the rear end of the Bronco. Isn't she cute? She's a beauty. So I had to call in some uh, some big guns because that bitch is heavy um, and awkward underneath the Bronco, especially the third member trying to stuff that thing in there. Some of the things we ran into today, um, not just you know getting the jack placement in there underneath the rear end, but um, Having them high enough, the Bronco is not high enough at all. We literally had to reposition jacks three or four times. We had to put these on and then jack the rear end up to get these under, to get it under, get the weight off of the rear jack shans so that basically the rear end was sitting at ride height. So the whole weight of the Bronco right now is sitting on these two jack stands. Um, so I could kind of get the pinion angle set. Um, before we did all that though, uh, when you're when you're setting the rear end centered in the in the back of the Bronco, you want to drop a plumb bob, not from the frame, because frames might be bent, twisted, going down the road crooked. You don't want that. So you want to do it from like the body line. So either from like here or you know somewhere on the body because generally the body is going to be the straightest part of the vehicle so um with that being said once you get that you know you kind of drop a plumb down you you measure both sides kind of get it centered to the body and then um what i did is i we snug these up and then we kind of rotated the rear end because we want the third to be about a degree higher at right height so that way when it droops out it brings the yoke, the two yokes back to uh, almost plumb centered. So right now it's when you when you hold this up there it's 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 level but up a degree. So um, so I got to do some things. Got to trim the excess bolts off down here. I got to trim the bolts off back there. But all in all pretty good uh, progress for today on uh, yeah on off-road juice so uh, hopefully maybe uh, next couple of days get the shocks in there get the everything else kind of mocked up the hubs and everything oh I never showed you guys these things 
These things are also, also pretty freaking heavy. Look at these bad mama jambas. Just look at that. So pretty. So, um, still got those to put in, um, to mock up. And then I'll show you guys how you guys set the rear ends up too, because you gotta, it's very crucial. They give you this like spit crush washer that you gotta mill down, um, on each end of the housing. Otherwise you could damage the bearings. Um, and that won't be good. So, um, there's my hired help. He's on, uh, Instagram right now. Yep. Instagram. <laughs> so yeah. Um, he's also building a Bronco. He's over here helping me because everything that I do wrong, he's just going to know not to do it when he builds his, his is going to be a much better Bronco. Um, his is the transgender juice uh, because he's putting an LS in it. So, along with uh, one of our other friends, Jesse, he's also doing the same thing. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys, and see you on the next one.